Hi, it's Willie D here again. Yeah, we were in Paris and we picked up this nice watercolor painting, if you can see it there. And it needs repairs, so we're going to give it a go. So let's get to it. As you can see, the um, papers kind of come off the edges here, right? And you can actually see the nails. And all we got to do is be very careful and pull out these nails and then we can see how the painting is put in. Now this frame is actually is um, got mark slots in it down here. Well, hang on, I'll get that in the picture frame there. So there's a gap there, so the frame is damaged as well. So we will have to repair that as well. So all we want to do is get these little nails out of the painting and we will move on then. I don't know if you can see that. I just pull them out. They're at a, a 45 which is interesting. Oh, there we go. There's two and I'm going to pull them all out and then we'll see if she lifts out. You have to do it like slowly and carefully so you don't damage anything. So you can see what you're up against when you take the painting out. So don't rush it. There is another method you can use and that is to just take the corner of the pliers, clamp it and just wiggle back and forth and pull slightly and there we go. So there's two methods you can use. Let's do it again. There you go. It's all coming out quite quickly now. And look, perfect. You've got to be careful on these restorations. Now what you want to do is make sure all those nails are out and then lift gently and see if it's going to lift out, if it's stuck. But on this case, look at that. Now we've lifted it out and to my amazement, up here in this corner is the artists and some kind of some kind of numbers, which we'll look up, and 1368 BD. Very nice. So that's a good sign. And there's a stamp in here. So it was, it's supposed to be stuck on the mat, as you can see, look. That's supposed to be glued on or taped on. It is coming away. But it's still on in some places, so I may have to get hot water or something and remove that. But we will leave that for a moment. Now look at the frame. And the frame is all loose. We're going to repair that and glue it and see what we're going to do with it. Whether it goes back on this one or it goes on another one. So, that's as far as I'm going tonight. So with a little bit of jimmying, I've got the mat off and I haven't lost too much. The mat ended here, right here. So there's a color, dis color change anyways. So our, my new mat has to come up here anyways. But I do have it out and it is looking quite good. And on the back is very important is all this writing and signatures which should actually be showing. So I may show that if I, can tr if I can mount it a little different. So there we go. I'm going to take that inside for the night and keep it warm and dry. It's a little cold in the shop at the moment. So there's the beginning of our restoration. So what I have on the painting here is in here there's a little dentish dent, and then there's a small hole. Now I'm going to patch that with this here, like this, and then put this nice brownish paper on tops so it looks cleaner. It's basically brown cardboard, but maybe I should put a piece of this down first too, because of the coloring, so it matches it more. 
we just have a look. Maybe a lighter carbon would be better, but yeah, I don't think it's going to make much difference, but I'll do it anyways. So we're going to glue a little piece of this on there first. Just roughly the same size as the patch again. Just have a look at the color of the paper. Yeah, it's yellowish, so it's fine. Want to keep it authentic as possible. And we're going to turn it around this way. And it's right here. And we're just going to put a little glue on this. I'll do it over here so you can see it better. A little white glue. Right. Yeah. Press this down a little. You want to try to fill that hole in as much as you can in the, those cracks. Even if the little piece of paper comes off, you can... Oops, there. Now I've got to put a bit of white glue in there. So it bonds. There we go. That's definitely going to bond. Huh? The crack is that way, so we'll go that way as much as we can. That looks really good. And see, I have my first piece of the patch done. I'm going to wipe this. I need a rag. <laughs> Just gotta get a little rag. I want it to kind of straight. Oops. There, like that. See? Let's have a look at the other side of the paint. Where it's damaged is down in here. Well, that's looking very good. And my other doctor's tools. I have some of them laying around here. I'm afraid my bench is a bit of a mess because I'm moving so much I can't put it on the wall. Here's not my house. So we just press. Oh, there's a bit of glue through. See? Ooh. Just what I wanted. Be hard to spot that when it dries. Let's get this white out from underneath here. And now, where are you here over there? To look where you are in the camera. And we're going to put this here to strengthen it. Maybe I don't need to. Why don't we let that dry first and then we'll see if we need to do it anymore. Huh? Quite like that. And it's looking really good here. And that's the important part that you get that little hole all filled in. You have to be dainty. I'm going to take a little white glue and drop it on there. See if it... Just a little.
top. I'm just picking little pieces of paper off the corners here, like small layers, and laying them in there. So that it matches the existing painting a little. So here we go again. Just make it wet with glue and get your spatula in there. There we go. Try to make it look like the painting a bit even. Now the crack went down that way, but I don't think that's going to have any bearing anymore. I think it's sealed. I think we should leave that dry. Just like that. That looks like a pen mark, which is lovely. So, I'm quite happy with that right now. So I'll zoom in on the mark so you can see it. It's right here. Go down a little. There you go. There's no hole there anymore. And we have a nice little patch. So yeah, so we got a little damage in here, like I said. And we're just working on it. You can see where the glue came through a little. I have a little bit of special fillers here with color. They should finish it. And bring it back to maybe more close to the original color maybe too. Getting very close. Yeah, you have to patience. That's beginning to look really good. Yeah, so I finished touching up in here, down in here. You can see that there. This is where the hole is if you look on the other side. There's a patch right there, right? And it's right in here, which I'll zoom into now. So the patch, the crack is in here somewhere, but I mean, 
you'll never see it again once it dries. It's gone for good. So there you go. And trash to treasure.